what is up you guys welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video so i have some more nail mail for you guys i'm excited to open this um it's actually from two separate companies and i thought i would combine them in one to make this a better video for you guys so i really hope you guys are enjoying these videos where i unbox the products and show you guys what i get and how to use them without further ado let's get into the video and see what we got okay so this package here is from angel crystal i don't know if you can see that angel crystal i am an ambassador for this company and I am going to leave the all the links and stuff that you need to order down below. So what we got today was just a few just a few samples. Sorry, I'm a little itchy. It was just a few samples. So I'm gonna set the camera up so you guys can see the products and everything that I got today. And the other package that I got was from Banggood. I got some nail tips, I got some hollow tape, and I got a new crystal picker-upper thing that we can try. Banggood is a really good company. I've always been satisfied with their shipping and the quality of the products, especially at the prices that they have. It's amazing. So. I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up so you guys can see what we have, okay? All right, so from Angel Crystals, I got, I believe this was a 400 piece um, mixed variety, uh, not variety, sorry, sizes of gold, rose gold Swarovskis. I'll have to check to see what exactly um, the sizes are, but I'll have all of the links down below in the description for you guys to check out. Rose gold, diamond Swarovski crystals. I'm trying to flip these over so you can see them. Okay, that worked a little. So these are really pretty. I really, I really like these. They're different. I use, as you can tell in my videos, I use a lot of Crystal AB because I feel that it goes with just about anything. Anything you want to do, it matches perfect. And these are just um, flat back pearls. I hope you guys can see that. Let me move the camera. <clears throat> I'll show you these again. So these are just mixed sizes I want to say they're gold and maybe SS5 through 12 again Angel Crystals has really reasonable pricing and don't forget I'm gonna be putting the link down below in the description along with my discount code <clears throat> so you can order your crystals and this is one of the main companies that I get my crystals from. And here are the other ones. I hope that's focusing. So now what I got from, from Banggood, I got some nail tips. I believe these are a 500 count, 500 or 550. And I got half well clear nail tips to try. 
if you're on a budget these are actually really good I know it's clear so you probably can't see that very well but they feel the quality feels good I also got some hollow tape in different colors there's pink purple blue gold silver just all kinds of colors I really hope you all can see that and last but not least we got our crystal picker upper so here it is here's this is uh, the wax part and this is so you can move around any stones instead of using your fingers or any other tools um, you can just apply the tip I'm sorry apply the stone and just move it into place so what I normally use is my crystal katana this is old as you can see uh, I lost the original piece that this actually inserts into so I have been using this for the past I want to say two years or so not this one but this brand I've been using this brand for the past two years um, and I really like the crystal katana so I haven't tried anything else so I'm excited to try this right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a sample of a nail uh, use these stones use the tape the nail tips and let's see what I can create and bring together so you guys stay tuned and let's get to working all right guys so for this video I am bringing out Amanda Amanda you're getting your nail slayed today girlfriend so anybody who is interested in getting a trainer hand, I purchased this on eBay for like 20 bucks, I believe, and it came with all of these tips. I apply them, I hold I hold this in place with Sticky Tacky. I got this at Walmart for like $2, I think. It, it, was, it was very, um, it wasn't expensive at all. So I just grabbed a little piece and just put that in there. And you push that in. Now it's not going nowhere. You're gonna prep this nail as you normally would. I'm gonna cut the tip. So I'm really liking the um, the quality of the tips. They're they feel very sturdy, um, not too flimsy. These are definitely great if you're if you're uh, beginning to do nails. I would definitely recommend these. I also see a lot of comments asking me how I shape my nails so I'm gonna show you guys now so I'm just gonna cut the nail tip and then I grab my nail clippers you can do this with scissors if you have them I 
prefer to use nail, nail clippers and you just want to you want to angle it going inwards but not too far in because then you're not going to have the coffin shape so just a little you want to angle it just a little inwards and just cut that and do the same on the other side we're going to grab our nail file and just shape it into place So now is the time where you will apply your dehydrator and your primer, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that part. I'm going to use uh, white, this is a custom mix, and I'm using white so it'll go well with the gold and the pearls and as well as the tape. As you see in most of my videos, I try to do one ball method. So you want to pick up your bead, give it a couple seconds, make sure there's no excess powder, and apply it at the cuticle, and just run it down the nail. It'll be easier if you face the nail down and you just let gravity do the work for you. So you're just helping it with your brush. you see how it'll come into place. If it needs a little more in some areas, you can go back with another bead. and apply it where you need it. So this is what the nail should look like. Since the stones I'm using are gold, I'm probably going to go with a, a more neutral color I see this t this one here it's um it's not gold it's more like it's like a darker brown I don't know if you guys can see that it's not focusing all right guys so the nail is dry and I took out the crystals that I'm gonna be using so what I'm going to be doing now is just filing this again and perfecting the shape. I like to use a safety bit just in case so I'm using a fine carbide safety bit I purchased this at my local supply store but I'm sure you can find them online um i will try to find some links for you guys and post them down below so if you want to order one you can get one also 
And we're just gonna brush off any excess dust. So for the glue, I like to use Mia Secret Resin. I have always used this to apply my stones. It's never failed me. So here is the tape that I'm using. This tape is so small, I swear I can never find. I can never find the beginning, but I think I just found it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna apply a straight line going down the middle. Nothing too fancy. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue around the cuticle area. Oh, wow, that actually picks it up really well. I was a little scared, but it actually, it. I like it. Okay, we're gonna apply some more glue. We're gonna go up down the middle. I'm applying smaller stones here so I can apply the so I can apply the um, rhombus or the diamond shaped one. I forgot to put glue, guys. You're gonna want to put some glue first. <clears throat> I want to add some pearls on the edges. Just give it a little different look. And I'm going to apply a pearl at the tip. I always find that these tapes come off really easy or they start to peel and lift. So I always try to apply a stone at the end and at the tip. And I'm going to place a smaller stone just right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry before I apply my top coat. I actually think I'm gonna put a few more smaller ones here. Okay, I like it. So we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna apply our top coat. 
I think this did really well picking up the stones, especially the big one. It did really good with the heavier stones. So I actually really like this. I think I would definitely order this again. Let me zoom you guys out. So if you are looking for a new crystal picker upper, I would definitely recommend this one. I like it, it's very good. Okay guys, so it has completely dried and I'm going to be using NSI Glaze and Go. This is for, sorry. I'm going to be using NSI Glaze and Go. This is for LED. So I'm just going to apply the top coat around the crystals and over the tape. You never want to put gel over Swarovski crystals because it takes away the shape and the shine as well. Okay, so we're going to cure this for 60 seconds and we'll be back. Okay guys, so here is the finished nail design. Something super quick and simple. Also very cute and elegant. You could use this style, this design for just about anything. Whether it's your birthday or if you have an event to go to. Even if you just want to rock some bling and nails and not be too extra, this would be perfect. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash review slash nail tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments and let me know how you guys like this video. Also, don't forget if you guys are interested in purchasing from Angel Crystals, I'm going to be leaving their link down below. Forgive me, I talk with my hands a lot. So I'll be leaving their link down below in the description box as well with my discount code so you guys can order whatever you want and get a great price. So I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.